In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create 5 quick and easy transitions within After Effects without using any plugins. Let's get right into it. For the first one, I'm going to create an adjustment layer and I'm going to trim it to my transition section. Let's add an effect called CC Radial Fast Blur and I'm going to set it to 0, select the stopwatch, go to my transition area and set it to 100. Move a few keyframes forward and set it back to 0. Hit U to bring up these keyframes and hit F9. And just like that, you got yourself this nice transition within a few clicks. For the next one, I'm going to keep the adjustment layer and I'm going to add another effect called Wiggle. And as you can see, we got a bunch of presets here. I'm going to be using the position one. Set the speed and the amount to zero and click the stopwatch again. Go to the transition area and let's set it to five and maybe 50. Move a few frames forward and set it back to zero. Now let's add another transform effect on top of this. I'm going to set a keyframe and the first keyframe we have on the scale Go to our transition section and set it to 110. Move to this keyframe and set it back to 100. Hit U to bring these up, select them and hit F9. And make sure you enable motion blur for this layer. And just like that you got yourself a shake transition. For the next one I'm just going to hide this layer for now and extend this clip right here. And on the second clip I'm going to add an effect called turbulent displace and set the amount to 0. Now if we go to the displacement type we have these three options here. I'm going to go with the horizontal and set the amount to something crazy. Now if I boost up my complexity to 10, you can see we get this nice glitchy effect. And if I actually go to my pinning and set it to pin horizontal, we get rid of most of it on the first frame. So now I'm going to set a keyframe on my amount, move a few frames and set it to 0. I'm going to set an opacity keyframe for the beginning here just so it doesn't start this way. And let's bring up these keyframes go into our graph and do something similar to this. And this is how you create a glitch effect without any plugins. Now you can also add the shake effect we created before this. So let me just align these keyframes here and check out this aggressive looking effect we've got, which looks awesome without any plugins. The next one is quite simple, but very effective. On my second clip, I'm going to add an effect called gradient wipe. Let's set the softness to 50 and the completion to 100. Set a keyframe for the completion, move a few frames forward and set it to zero. And this is how you get this type of transition. For this next one, I'm going to duplicate my second clip and I'm going to right click, time and freeze the frame. I'm going to move this layer forward and on our frozen layer, I'm going to mask around the car here very quickly. Once you've masked out your car, go ahead and hit T for opacity and let's set it to zero, set a keyframe and we're going to move a few frames forward, set it to about 60, a few frames forward, back to 20 and to the end of it, and set it to 100. Now if we play this back you can see we get this nice flickering effect and by selecting the keyframes here and holding alt I can actually drag the last keyframe and it would make everything faster. So let me just move this clip over here. We can also add a scale to this so if we set the keyframe here for the scale move this to the end, let's scale this up and now we've got this type of transition which is commonly used in some clips and this is just another quick idea of how you can use this type of transition. So I've masked out the legs here and it sort of steps on the ball right where it transitions and it's a pretty cool transition. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.